Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Sturm, the Interim Associate Dean for the Rajaswan College of Business. And I'm very grateful and super excited to introduce our guest today, Nicole Cantrell. So Nicole is a procurement analyst at the United States Air Force. And she's also a two-time graduate of Wright State University. So you first completed your bachelor's in org leadership, and then you came back and did your MBA in the Management, um, Innovation, and Change concentration in 2017. What I find amazing about you is that you came back and did your MBA while working full time and raising a young family. So it can be done. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so I'm curious, with all that you had going on professionally, personally, why did completing your MBA during that time, what was so appealing to you about doing that? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I did have a lot going on. <laughs> um, so there were a couple of factors that went into timing of when I decided to go back to my MBA. Uh, first being, I did not want to get off of the train, so to speak. You know, mm -hmm. I was afraid that with so much going on, if I took a break, I may not come back. Um, so that was really kind of the first thought of timing. Um, I was considering taking a year off and ended up actually making my decision sort of last minute. So I was conditionally accepted into the MBA program pending my GMAT, which I had to take in the first semester. Um, but it was the best decision for me, timing-wise. You know, um, I knew I wanted to pursue the MBA, and since I was nervous, I may not, you know, actually ever do it if I didn't just do it then. And I was able, more than able, to take classes, you know, evenings, weekends, online, and make it work with my schedule with a full-time job in children and you know I was uh, expecting a new baby in my oh, wow. in my time during wow. the MBA you know so um, a lot of time management but it worked out really well and I think it was the best choice timing wise for my family and myself and my future career yeah that's great so how did completing your MBA help you career wise I mean honestly I don't think I would be where I am without having done my MBA at Wright State I got an email blast probably to all of the MBA students, you know, um, that were upcoming graduates. I, probably in the like March timeframe that BASE was hiring, mm -hmm. um, specifically in contracting. So I read through the job description and thought, that sounds really interesting. I think I could do that, you know, and, and make a difference in that career field. So I uh, interviewed, you know, got selected and started almost immediately after graduating with the MBA. So I really think it opened that door for me. Um, also, just kind of general skills that I learned in the MBA, even things like analysis and Excel, you know, creating mm -hmm. tables, doing research for papers or um, communication skills, oral and written communication, those type of skills that you learn in education and specifically in an advanced degree, I utilize daily in my career. Uh, and I really think that that helped boost my ability to contribute early on in my career and, and ongoing. Yeah. That's great. So in thinking back about your time in the MBA, what was a high point or significant moment for you while completing your degree? Can I say graduating? No. Graduating, yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> I'm that's just the kidding. point. Um, I mean, sort of. Um, you know, honestly, that was a huge accomplishment for me, mm -hmm. a goal that I set to complete the MBA program. So I say that sort of in jest, but really that was a huge thing for me, a highlight for sure. You know, many weekends, hours away from my family, and there was a reason behind it. That being said, I do remember, you know, this may sound trivial, but something that specifically stands out years later uh, in an economics class of all things, I just had this like aha moment, you know, mm -hmm. where I felt like I was truly in the right path. Um, and for something like that to click for me, I felt really reassured. In my undergrad, I did change majors a few times, and it took me a while to figure out where I was going in my career choices, right? So I had a moment in the program during an economics, literally just a lecture, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm where I'm meant to be. And I found it really reassuring, and then it, it kind of sparked that interest and that growth towards completing and accomplishing, you know, the goal of obviously finishing and graduating getting a career. So I think that was really a, p a pivoting point for me. Gosh, I love that. So as an educator, those aha moments yeah. for students, I mean, that it makes it for you. Yeah, and it That's still amazing. stands out. You know, it was important in my mindset, I think. Yeah. 
So last question, what advice do you have for current students who are interested in working in the defense industry? Yeah, um, the defense industry is very vast. Mm -hmm. So my first recommendation would be to explore your interests, right? Um, we're all serving maybe a greater mission, but there are so many facets and specific areas that you can get involved with. So first thing, figure out what you like. You know, if you're really interested in more of a technical route, you may not want to go a business advisor route, you know, so there are so many paths. So first thing, do some research, ask some questions. Um, secondly, I would highly recommend attending any sort of speaker series, uh, career fairs, anything like that that is available to students. Um, take advantage of that type of stuff because folks that are doing the jobs, you know, are, are there and wanting to tell you about what we're doing, right? So making those connections as a student, even early on in your career, or in your education rather, um, can go a long way, you know, figuring out who is a point of contact that you can ask questions to, or how do I get involved in uh, learning about your career path, right? So I would recommend taking the initiative early on as a student and then um, figuring out what your passion is and, and pursuing it. Excellent. Well, Nicole, thank you so much for being here today. It truly was a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much.